Dave, Dave's quality meat. This is my shop. This is my bike. Come on in, I'll show you around. I'm Keith Huffnagel and this is my shop, Huff. Come in and check it out. It's good. First collaboration we did with Huff was the uh, sweatshirt with the New York Yankees logo and the, the San Francisco Giant logo. Is that with the sweatshirt or was that different? The sweatshirt was first, then the t-shirt. And then what did we do after that? Do you remember? And then like a year or two later we did the, uh, the Bowery. We had one of his artists kind of do a rendition of what you would see on the Bowery. We did one first. We did. Uh, tenderloin we did first. a tenderloin first. And then we really liked it and we were like, oh, can you do one for us? The same shit in the, um, in the Bowery version is the yeah. same crap we find on the street in the SF version. Yeah. Beer cans and, and uh, crowbars and switchblades and fucking, you know, syringe or whatever it is, like bent spoon heroin, heroin baggie. I mean, Hop is from here. And then he moved over there, which is another New York, just, you know, nice weather. It's maybe weather and lack of hills or something. But it's still the same thing. It's still an urban city, you know, it's still, you know, you gotta, the easiest way to get around is on a bike. Bombing down Jones on a track bike is way more fun than, like, going down a straight street in the suburbs somewhere. You know, all of us sort of know how to ride bikes. And making a messenger bag, I think, it's, it's the most common thing. We just talked about kind of necessities, like things you would actually need for your bag. All of us have to schlep around some junk, whether it be like, oh, I just got four t-shirts from this company, or I just got a new back rim, or I got a new board from this guy, and I'm going to go set it up later, but I need something, some place to put it. When you're not skating, and you're biking, and you're bringing your board from spot to spot or whatever, like, we thought that it would be necessary to make this bag be able to um, hold the skateboard properly and function, you know, just like a great bag without even noticing you got a board on it. Keith is like saying, oh, make, you can make whatever you want. I just want my patch on there. I'm like, well, what's, what's your patch? And I just see this drawing on my desk and it's like, it just says SFDBC with like a bottle with a money sign in it. It says, get fucked and die. And I'm like, <laughs> Alright. Personally, on a personal level, like, attitude-wise, like, this is something that maybe we would customize our own bag with. You know, where I grew up, if you didn't do something like that, you either tried to become a doctor or basketball player, or you become a drug dealer. And the one thing that I say that saved my life was skateboarding and BMX. 